Before we get into today's video, I just want to make a couple announcements. First, I want to say that I hit 1,000 subscribers, so I'm going to be doing a small giveaway as a token of my appreciation. The prizes are going to be a Roy Vivon A2X flashlight in stainless steel, and this one has the Nichia 219C LED. This was one of my review samples, but it just doesn't get used, so I'm going to be passing it along. The second prize is going to be this Photon Freaks dog patch. This is the one that I actually designed the concept for, and Photon Freaks is a buddy of mine, and he donated the patch for the giveaway. He does a lot of cool stickers and patches for the flashlight community, so definitely check him out if you get the chance. Now, to win both of these items, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and then comment your favorite piece of EDC gear below. Because I'm a smaller channel, you actually have a pretty decent chance to win. The next thing that I want to introduce is my personal flashlight ranking list. This is basically where I'll be ranking pretty much every single flashlight that I've ever had the chance to play with. I've had this list out for a while on my site, but I only recently got around to updating it, so it's gone from around 40 entries to closer to 100 now. It takes into account a variety of factors such as functional design, intended use case, and price, and it's how I develop my conclusions when I do my reviews. It's still in the works, but I do feel comfortable at this point sharing it with you guys. So today's video is going to be about custom flashlights. There's not really a strict definition for the term, but you just kind of know when you see one. The market for them is completely saturated though, and I'd like to single out what I think are some of the more exceptional ones. As usual, I can't stress enough that this is 100% subjective, so don't feel bad if something that you like isn't on this list. My standards are pretty high for the stuff I review if you look at my flashlight ranking list, and ultimately this is going to be a reflection of my own personal preferences. Coming in at number 5 is going to be the Okluma DC-1, but this is going to be more of an honorable mention. This flashlight doesn't do anything particularly special, but it is an iconic design that Okluma has essentially refined to a very high degree. I generally don't take into account the maker's reputation or warranty when I create my rankings, and I still won't for Okluma, but it's worth mentioning that Okluma is one of the few custom makers that will allow you to specify certain LEDs, drivers, or other customizations when you purchase. They are very good at accommodating their customers, and they have one of the best warranties in business. Coming in at number 4 is the MechForce MechTorch. I'm not really about the look of this flashlight, which is mainly why I sold it and I don't have it in front of me right now, but it does compare favorably with a lot of the custom flashlights on the market. You're getting a full titanium host of decent build quality and an H17F driver for under $200. MechForce also sells the host bare so that you can build the flashlight to your own specifications if you want. If you want a taste of custom at a fraction of the cost, this is the flashlight to buy. Overall, this is going to be a solid B plus in my books. And number three is going to be the HDS Rotary. This is an iconic flashlight that I would argue shifted the user interface paradigm. It's one of the few flashlights that you can hold with one hand and easily adjust the output on. There's a lot of people who will make the case for ramping and I can see the appeal, but realistically the rotary interface is just much faster and more intuitive in practice. The HDS flashlights are all about reliability, so these lights are built like a tank and they don't overdrive their LEDs. The biggest drawback here is going to be the lack of a decent clip option. The universal clip, which I have here, is junk to put it nicely. At number 4, and the cheapest flashlight that most would deem custom, is the Freelux Synergy 1. This is one of the few flashlights to use a side-by-side -side AAA configuration, which basically just stomps the traditional stack cylinder configuration. The user interface and performance on the Synergy 1 are a bit lackluster, but they do get the job done. There's just three outputs to give you an idea what I'm talking about. There's the low, there's the medium, and then there's the high. So yeah, quite simple, not much going on, but it does get the job done. Overall, this is what I would consider to be a good flashlight carried to great status by its excellent price point. Number one on this list should probably come as no surprise to anyone who knows me, and that's the Overready Boss 35. This is my favorite custom flashlight by a long shot, and I've carried it for several years at this point. There are indeed certain limitations and flaws to the 371D light engine that this flashlight uses, but it's still very advanced for what it is. The most blatant flaw to this light engine is the limitation of 4 modes per MO group, but that's going to be worked out in the latest update I believe. And ergonomically, this flashlight is a dream come true. It just fits my hand like a glove, and this triad tail cap that they use is absolutely flawless in my opinion. One of the few things that I can call truly excellent. Personally, I don't think I'll ever get over this flashlight, but Overready should be coming out with an updated driver for the boss soon, and so I'd wait on that if you're on the fence about this one right now. And there you have it guys, my top 5 picks for the custom flashlight market. 
Just to be clear, these are all EDC pocket flashlights, and they're not all going to be performance monsters, because realistically, they don't have to be to perform well or excel in an EDC capacity. To be honest, I don't really like to do these top five videos or these list videos, but I actually haven't seen anybody else with a ranking list or sort of a buyer's guide or anything to that effect for custom flashlights, so I thought it would make for a good video topic. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button and to subscribe for future content. And yeah, that's gonna wrap it up, guys. Peace out.